Look at him. Oh. Oh. He's doing an ugly cry. It's an ugly cry, bro. Welcome back, YouTube. We are here for another video. We are playing Life is Strange. This is episode five the last episode the finale of true colors we have just completed episode four where we are left on the cliffhanger not knowing whether or not alex is alive or deceased she was shot by jed of all people up until that night of her explaining to him what was going on i had absolute trust in jed but i knew once i you know i'm sorry i, I got sidetracked i'm streaming live on twitch as y'all can see and the pinned comment is bust down JD. I don't like that. When did that even get up there? Do if if y'all are missing the foolery over here, can y'all just please come over to Twitch and follow? Y'all, all you gotta do is follow. Just follow so you can see the shenanigans. But we're about to start episode five. We're gonna see if Alex is injured. You know, we didn't see where the bullet hit. If it's fatal, I don't know, but these people over here are just, oh my gosh. Help me, Lord. Are we back in therapy? Welcome back, Alex. At the Can group home? Talk about your time in Colorado. Where, what happened? This Let's is where we began. Positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? We was just, what? What? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That what else did like we learn, bro? Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? Is her emotions? I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Found some friends you could trust. Well, this all simulated? What yeah. is this? You're right back where you started. You're, how am I going to say you're wrong when I'm right back where I started? I'm not, though. I'm different. I'm different. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Oh, she this kind of, uh... Oh, oh, you going what crazy, Alex? You going crazy? That's her. Is that what I look like? Really? She don't, she don't, she don't like that A line Bob, y'all. She don't like the ball. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Yo. What if she's just like in her subconscious because she's unconscious in real life down in that tunnel? I guess that's me. Case number 53322. Open it. 21, she only 21? Dang. Emotional instability, occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, visual, hallucinations, oral, del delusional. I, dang, nothing she, she be seeing is reality at this point. Depression, anxiety, no diagnosis alex experiences a detailed and robust delusion that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability 
she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma it's difficult to overlook the irony someone as profoundly dysfunctional as alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker has she not been returned to my care i do not think it hyperbolic to sp speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt it's my belief that alice's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others as such i recommend alice be thrown down an endless pit her body shattered against each jutting board an errant brick until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world this is in my professional opinion the most humane thing we can do for her oh this is just a dream ain't no way this is not real dr lynn always recorded our records our sessions if it's her voice on both ends of this i'm a i'm a scream 12 years ago i made a mistake the kind of thing that you you can't undo alex you know that i care about you with everything that has happened i just want what's best for you this is in her head these are messages to her these don't belong to dr lynn yeah you 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 tripping you tripping you at the bottom of the, of the tunnel bro uh, go ahead and wake up tuning peg pause that that's for her guitar go ahead and take take that picture that's yours oh it's a real one okay I've got to get out of this place. Well, let's go ahead and lead in, Boogie. Oh, oh. Of course. Now we stuck. We stuck in limbo. Oh my gosh. What is there left to do? Let me out. Beat it down. Girl, quit looking at it and take it out. Okay. We really knocking. Okay. Da -ka -ka, Kiki. This is great. Um, knock knock jokes. Alex Chen. My guitar mm. case has never heard of me. Okay. Sure. Huh. Now we need to okay. Where are we gonna get the code from? Am I supposed to know a numerical uh ah five three three two two? Wait. Five three three two two. Let let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's open it. Yup. Five. Three. Three two two let's go that's it it gotta be yup yeah produskies tuning peg let's go ahead and tune her up tune her up fix it yep let's get on down to business at this point i think she uh we, we we huh can i talk we done lost her she's spending too much time without oxygen to the brain we can hear this though keep playing what you doing Why are we all in her face like, oh, nosebleed? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. What is this? 
We going back to her in real life? Oh, she alive. Where was she shot at? Her face? Did it graze her? Ain't no way. Are we dangling? Ooh, she had a oh. pelvic stop. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh. I would just, you know, I would have to lay there for a minute. No, the stairs is right there. Oh. Never mind. I know that hurt it. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my gosh. shoot ain't no way ain't no way we was alive to, to to die like that ain't no way we in a hospital who saved us who knew where i was besides jed we back in this stupid doctor office Psst. alex oh we gone for real <laughs> gabe <gasps> Why are you ain't hugging me back? Hello, right? You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Oh. Most people. Where are we? Excuse me? I want to say a hospital. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a mm. different kind of sickness. What are they sick with? Play your part. Dang. Can I get a little more back history? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Oh, oh. Dad. Behave. I could have sworn Gabe had a little melanin in him. Melanin in him. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. You no, know, he had a little, you know, a little swag about him. She was right over there waiting for me. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Dang, how long were they here? Her purse. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Dang. Mom, are you okay? Shh. Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you want? She knew. She had cancer. Even then, she knew. What was it? We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. It was always too hot in this room. Oh my lord, we finna go in? Ain't nothing else to look at? She's just on the other side. I don't know what they finna, like, definitely F cancer, bro. Okay, she's just sleeping.
lost my auntie to cancer recently since this subject bro lost my auntie too bro same way r.i.p to them that's overnight bag how many nights did dad spend in this room sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners there's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry mom every time i saw her I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? I wonder if she had forgotten these memories, if that's why we're going back here. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. <sighs> Wait. Did I miss something? What about her water? This wasn't here before. No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Mm, the water? Okay, that's different. Give her the water. Thank you. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. Mm. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? What is this? She gave me like a little keepsake. Shh. No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother. Your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Mm. Will you do that, Alex? Is it a necklace? Brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? You know, I hate that it took all this for her to unlock this memory, <laughs> but I'm glad she has it. Was this where she lost control of her emotions?
was this the point you know understandable R.I.P. Mama Chin. Where are we at? Where is her actual body? We going through her whole lifespan. Oh, he scared the living daylights. Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... Oh, she been wearing that necklace, huh? So. Do you miss her? Gabe. What's going on? Right, isn't the time for this? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. Mm. Them having to play as their younger selves is kind of crazy. This is going to suck so bad. Are these memories that she's just buried? Play your part. You keep saying play your part. Play your part. Three stacks, play your part. <laughs> okay, they've been fighting. There go that little uh, bear thing she'd been taking with her. We can't even hear what they saying. I want to know what the what it's stemming from. There was only ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out and wait for it to pass. The volume dial was my best friend on days like this. It's just been a, a, a wreck since she been gone. Oh, oh, I wish my 15 year old would book at me. Alex. Hey. It's OK, it's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? Huh? She keep having these inaccurate memories. Bro, I think that what we're hearing when she has the headphones on is nothing. And I think we're at least supposed to be hearing whatever she's listening to. It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did, at least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. You know, I'm gonna just go ahead and let them argue while I look around. They'll be all right. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. Mm. Sounds familiar. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. 
I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Dang, why not? We never really touched these after mom died. She was such a good cook. Gabe used to steal dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. I didn't even know what CPS was. Dang. Just that I was afraid of them. Not CPS. Almost empty. Almost always. No going upstairs. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. Oh, you missing out. Thanks for trying. Oh, okay. Cat. I did look at that cat. Cleaning dad's ashtray was mm. not my favorite job in the it world. It smelled like cigarettes in here. Oh, Lord. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. Is Abe sleeping right here? The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Gabe and dad were so loud when they fought. I'm gonna open the door because it lets me listen over there, but he said that's not the way the memory went. So let's open it. Oh, oh, Where are you oh. going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, dad lost his job again. Again, why? So we're broke, again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? We well, got it's laid okay. off. We'll figure it out. I could, um. I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could oh, see Lord. you now. I don't wanna hear about mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. Oh, 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 don't fucking oh. touch me, piece of shit. Dad. Oh, <gasps> damn it, Alex. Dang, I'm crossfire. Okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... that's what she did to Gay uh, in the fight don't. with him and uh, Mac. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Is he leaving? Where are you going? He's, wait, is he packing Someone a bag for come. somebody? Ooh. That woman from CPS. He's leaving. Someone. That's how she ended up in the group home. Dad. I'm sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> your mama passed and your daddy leave you? Dad! Oh Lord. She threw it. The necklace. He better not take it. He bet not take it. Give it back to her. Oh, you scandalous. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. This game got ill parents, bro. That's why her emotions are all over the place. Where are we at now, bro? Where's my girl Alex's body, bro?
Is the group home? Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Oh, he's never seen this. This is crazy. Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. Mm. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. Dang. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. What is my part here? I used to write one every day. Stupid. She was writing to her dad. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. <laughs> Hence, stupid. Okay. Are you gonna sit? I thought you were gonna open it at first. that who are all these people are y'all gonna say something i can't get up oh oh hold on one by one okay she's been through so much i just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl mm, adoptive parents she was mad wait i couldn't even oh i'm doing them as couples it says here she's sensitive. What does that mean? What do you mean, what does that mean? She's sensitive. Oh, now I get to do her. Bro, come on. I wonder why she's never found a home before. Why was she mad about that? I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This oh, is man. the kid that's been in all those fights, right? I want to help. I, I really do. But there's just something off, broken, wrong. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Well, good thing this is a, a hallucination. A good, you know, out of body exp experience, you know? She has a lot going on for 21. Why? need to see it see what that nobody picked me nobody picked you nobody picked you nobody wanted you oh dang mom died dad left i bailed you couldn't keep us together it was my job to keep us you were 11 years old no oh. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Is this therapy? Let it go. Be 
people leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. <sighs> Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. Period. And no one can take your life away. Fight. Mm, I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. He talking to her to her in real life. He talking to her in real life. Here she is. Where's she at though? Oh, uh, scare me. She hit the ground. Mm -mm. I put some lip plumper. I miss burning my lips up. Mm. Let me cool that down. gave her that Ryan no Gabe did Gabe did with the last match in it okay I remember that story come on Gabe get her through it get her through it bro ain't no way my spine would have been crushed hitting the ground like that is she shot did he actually hit her He finna, we finna see what they've been hiding. This like worst case scenario. I don't want to see what they've been hiding by myself with broke legs. Oh, she, she getting up. She getting up. Her legs ain't broke. Oh my God. I would have been crumbled. Broke up in pieces. I've got to find a way out of here. Oh my Lord. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. Nobody knows I'm down here. I'm Ugh. gonna choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt mm. so much. Safety first. Can we can we grab it? How long has this stuff nope. been down here? Not Stuart. Okay. What are we looking to see? Just an exit? Oh, oh, oh! No, no, what is that? No, no. Come on, no, 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 no! We finna be in pitch black. Oh my God! See, nope, nope, nope. I woulda laid down and barrel rolled all the way to the other side. I can do this. Wait, I have to walk? Hello, is it me? No, it's not me. What's happening? 
Okay, that's something. Girl, you better hurry up. I don't know what that is you're looking at. That aura is the only lead I've got. Okay, here we go. Is this a dead end? Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, boys, getting close. Yuck. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Oh no, he was God one of the right. miners. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We oh my finished gosh. the job. Steady goes. Steady. He caused the death of people, didn't he? Fuck us. Yup. Boom! Come on! Clear the tunnel! He caused the death of a whole gang of people. Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. That blows on his hands. We gotta move! Now! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. Ooh. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. That little crack right there. Ooh, girl. What is it? Her daddy? No. Dad. Ah. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Dad, come back. Dad, you son of a bitch. Oh my God. Chen, you gotta stop, man. Dad! Fuck you, Chen! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not oh coming my back. god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So when Jed was talking to her about trying to help the boy the best he could, was he talking about Gabe? By letting Gabe work at the tavern and all that kind of stuff, putting him up in that apartment. Cause Jed don't got a son. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Bro, Ethan was on it the whole time. His little storybooks. Ryan is Jed's son. <laughs> That's a nasty us uh, uh revelation. I'ma have to give Ryan about his father. BL closed for council meeting. And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. She finna bust it's in a there, ain't she? Shop run Look by at Pike sitting generations. there. 
A bar owner who greets every customer by name. Look at them. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. Nasty work. History, loyalty, pride. She knows something up. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Okay. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Yeah, y'all wasn't expecting that, were you? Tell, tell Pike. Yup, yup. Ghost just walked in. Deer in the headlights. Look, Ryan, your daddy. Alex. Yep. Oh my God, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What not happened? not till you hear what happened. Look, look. Hell no, tell him. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call Shut him. Shut up! has been lying to all of you. Stupid. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? I want to start with the hard if. I should do it though. He just tried to kill me. I'm pissed. He tried to kill me. Fuck you. Yeah, Eleanor. Hard F. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Yep. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. Yep. Tell him, Diane. Confirm it. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Oh, you buried because my father. Because one of those miners was my father. Mm-hmm. You knew it, though. What are we looking at Charlotte for? Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. You're not afraid. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. Yep. That's how Gabe was killed. Yep. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. Yep, and about me. And when I found out. Yep. As you can see. He tried to kill me, too. Don't roll your eyes now. Speak up. Look at Pike. Oh, my gosh, Pike, you pissed me off. Why aren't any of you saying anything? Oh, my gosh. We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Oh, God, what is going on? I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are. They've been a gaslighter. Well, they're insane. They've they been a gaslighter. Trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing Bro, to do. Bro, are they all in on it? What the hell? But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't Girl, he? I can only imagine how much you wanted explanation mouth. for his loss. Something to give you 
comfort. Quit and all that yapping. Make your life seem less unfair. Oh my God. See, now I don't know whether to trigger her conscience. Going at her, she just wants like, oh my, I can say the same. I told Pike she suppressed the evidence. It went absolutely nowhere. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? Mm. You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Her emotions. Now's your chance to stop. Dad? Oh. Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? No. I don't. Wow. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is... Sometimes, when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. Bro, he tried to kill me. I don't want to be like... You're a monster. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Yep. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. Hell yes, yeah, Steph. Okay, Charlotte. I love you too. Stand up then. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything. Yeah, Jed. Stupid mustache. You. Come on, I duck. Like to speak. Ducky, you bet not you bet not fumble this duck. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. Ducky, sit down. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. Just say you believe me, bro. We ought to take her seriously. That ain't gonna make Matt Pike do nothing, bro. What you gonna do, Pike? Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Eleanor. Alex, sweetheart. You know our mind our? on us. No! I'm about to call no, you out your name. It's your fault. Your mind playing tricks on you. It's so hard. You dingbat. To admit you need help. You need to admit you need it's help. It's always better in the end. We're Get all out of my face, Eleanor. About you. Oh my God. Let us help you. Go find Riley. Don't worry, Alex. I got this. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have a USB stick full of recordings. Yes, we went through this yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. Pike. None of us have time for conspiracies. Pull through, Pike. Yeah. Pull through. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? Okay. I know your game. I know. Don't how test you... me, Jason. Tester. Tester. <laughs> One, two. I'm not scared of you anymore. Mm -hmm. None of you. Not Typhon. All right, that's enough. If to put him you down, do you, you know. But this is great while it lasts. With me? Like hell, I do. Jason. Well. Given that your judgment in this look at Jet ready to plan a second attack. Compromised, you should probably remove yourself. Oh, from cut the crap! If you think you could shut me up, Jason, I think you better call it. I would like to speak again. It concerns me that a voting member of this council. I really don't care if he believes me. This is a load of I feel sorry for him, but his daddy's turning his life upside down. 
Ooh. I'm not your lap dog anymore. You know, for any you feel in your if you say no, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to leave it like it. I'm really sorry. I feel like I'm sorry confirms my statement. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I forgot Ryan took out Gabe, bro. Dang. I'm over here feeling sorry for him. Dad. Please. Come clean. We'll figure it out together. Even it gets you, you better be careful. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Oh. Come on, Dad. Oh. Never in a million years. Come on. I hate seeing you do this. My own son. Oh, Dad. wow. My own goddamn son! Stop. Oh, this fire. Let's go. She finna make him tail? I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. Oh, she finna read him. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. Uh oh, he finna you turn look up. away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. Uh, he wasn't a screw up. He was definitely a victim of that, what Jed did. But I feel like he was a fighter, was strong. I don't know whether he was a victim is talking to Jed or like her daddy's life. Bro, the world fighter. never gave him anything for free. Okay, period. Let's go. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. He tried. He definitely tried. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. Hmm. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. Mm. But he died mm. because of you. Mm. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive, to get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. I hate Jed and his eyes shifting, bro. I want to stab it. And you tried to murder me. Both of them. Like, be still. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. He's so, like, shady. Ugh. Oh my God, I don't want to look at it. You've forgotten it, haven't you? 
You've plastered over it with another story. He ain't a hero. You tell yourself you're a good man. You take care of so many people. You gave me a roof and a job. Mm. You checked on me when I was grieving. Talk about it. Such a good, generous man. A murderer. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Cold-blooded killer. Ooh. Ooh. See, I want to say you're a coward, but he is a pawn for Typhon. Mmm. Selfish. I, he is selfish, but I feel like selfish don't hit. It don't hit. Oh my gosh. Ooh. All of the above. Uh, he's definitely a coward. He's a coward. 11 years ago, you led a group of men to yeah. their deaths. Yeah. Yeah. Light him up. And you couldn't even say those words out loud because you're a coward. Yep. You couldn't imagine saying it to your wife. Bro, all this eye shifting is about to drive me insane. I'm about to knock him inside his head, bro. Knock his eyes out of his sockets, bro. You brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Oh, oh. Don't. Oh, oh. Lock in. Why are we all up in this nasty man face? The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're going to break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. Bro, this is so stupid. Get out my face. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, what was that in her eyes? I see the truth about you. Oh, shoot. You hate yourself. She worked for the Umbrella Corporation. What happened here? You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. Girl, I'm not here to give him therapy. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. Is everybody standing around listening? Can they hear this? Oh. 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 Ho, ho. You know what? Uh. I condemn you. That doesn't do anything for her, though. I feel like somewhere, somewhere. Man. What does condemn like? What does that actually mean? This nigga tried to kill me, bro. Oh my God. Look, I got to play this. Y'all know I take all these decisions realistically, bro. I play them as myself outside of the character, bro. You love it, you hate it. I'm gonna forgive him. I gotta move and on. I forgive you. I gotta move on. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Oh. 
He doing an ugly cry. It's an ugly cry, bro. Look what he been holding on to. Dang. Look at her still up in the in the apartment. Do she own the tavern? Ryan must own the tavern. Ryan letting her say they're rent free. She ain't paying no rent. Still coming in on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the death yes. of seven Typhon yes. employees as their manager 12 years yes. ago. Yes, the power of Christ the compels you. Yes. Come on, Judas. Unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections of the death of a Haven local, Gabe Chen, last month. Dang. Justice. Police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. I really wonder what it would have done yeah. if I would have let Charlotte the take the money. Worse. I need to get some air. Cause Charlotte didn't do anything After for us. All my strength and willpower. I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Charlotte ain't do nothing for us when it came to the inv investigation. I just want to know, like, what would have, would we have still ended up with the option to be here had we let Charlotte take the money? That's probably one of the only questions I have. Berlin does sound pretty good right about now. Let's take a last look at the apartment, bro. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See, this is why I try to only read the art sections. Dang, it's in the news now. Jet Lucan currently sits in San Miguel County Prison. He is said to be fully cooperative with the police and repentant for his actions. But the harm he has done to his town, to this town, to all of us who knew and trusted him over the years is just beginning to be understood. Still in the face of this tremendous calamity, we say Haven will survive. We will emerge, if not stronger, at least a bit wiser for having overcome it. We will do this not because it is easy, but because we have no other choice. This is our home. Dang. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. I'm glad he held on to it for whatever it's worth. Oh, he wrote her a letter? Alex, they told me to destroy this jacket after the accident. I couldn't do it. Perhaps some part of me knew that I would one day need to pass it along. When Gabe first stepped into my bar looking for his father, I swore I would one day return this jacket to him. Then I swore I'll return it to both of you. I think you know by now that what my word is worth. I did not deserve your forgiveness, but it moved me more than I knew was possible. I hope this gift will provide some small comfort to you in the days ahead, Jed. You know? She got something of her father Nothing like being called and delusional. something of her mother like now. You trusted. That one really hurt. Yeah, they, they, they tried to gaslight you. Ooh, an interview? I am now a double victim. First to Jed Lucan's horrible deception, and now to Tyson's attempts to scapegoat me for their crimes. But I will fight tooth and nail Girl. to ensure that the real story is told and my name is cleared. Shut up, Diane. Thank you. Sounds like Diane is angling for a book deal. Hopefully it ends up in the fiction section where it belongs. There's nobody listening to that. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Dang, that one match he had left saved her life, bro. Okay. Oh, shoot. Clark, relax. You didn't see nothing. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. She finna confess her uh, okay. adoring love, bro? Or she ain't leaving? What you did at the council meeting? Nothing of the sort. It was the I'm bravest reaching. thing I've ever seen. Okay. And it made me want to be brave, too. Never mind. So, I was on it. I was on here it. Here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. 
I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> I want to stay here, too. Ooh. Your ticket. You ripped your bus ticket. I can get another one. Or not. It, it doesn't matter. Point is, I'm in. Oh. For whatever you want. She want it. She obviously want it, bro. Who am I to stop true, true love, bro? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Oh, shoot. Well, good. I can't be with that Ryan. Ryan's daddy tried to kill me. We're never gonna, like, no. You know where to find me. Too much history there. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. She didn't make me make a decision. I was gonna, you know, I was gonna lock it in. I'm surprised. Let her have it. There you go. True love. There you go. Rock out with your socks out. All right. Just tell me. Who are we talking to? Oh, what? shoot. Again? My future. You can't just keep doing this, what bro. What to do? The night of the spring fest. Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road. The excitement of the unknown. She went his advice. Of course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> if he say play your part. Oh my God. Come on. You're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Mm, I agree. Of course. You're right. Jed gone too? I've never had a home before. We done finally got justice. You a town Friends, hero. A job, a place to live. Why would I give that up now? Then again, maybe leaving would be better. Gabe, make your mind what? up. You're young. You suddenly have a little no, money. Friends. No, no. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No. Well, I you should definitely leave. I barely played. Fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need. I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. Bro. If she leave with Steph and her and Steph break up. Something. She on her own out in the middle of a different country. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. Mm. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. I'm glad he let me see how this plays out. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. They in there rocking out. And little by little, time does its thing. This looks so peaceful. Bro, this is no music version. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum. Look. And more like a home. Her people here. I'm choosing this option. I don't care what they finna say for the next one.
thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me. Look at her putting her own deco begin to decoration fade into of the background. Take that moose down, that deer, antelope, whatever that is. And guns down. Community run establishment. Oh, shoot. Look at Mac. Mac going through it. That Riley back there on a date. He looks so uncomfortable. Look at Charlotte dating again. She dating the Negro. Come on, black excellence. Black love. Let's go. Where's she find him at? That got to be the one that bought one of them taverns over there. Oh, what's them looks? Oh, okay. Look at them playing handsies up under the, the table. The rooftop is your stage. You perform okay. every week to a small but adoring group of fans. I like this for her. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Or she maybe gonna cry? you never think about that much at all. Exactly. You don't know exactly when it happens. Look at her. But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing... Are they all old now? Just how normal it feels. What is that? Who is that? I saw some salt and pepper here. You don't here. question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Absolutely. Thank you. Don't mention it. Yeah. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. She ain't got nowhere. Exactly, go where, please. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. Honey, that's because you had a place lined up for me and a job. Stop it. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? Easiest answer. Easiest answer in the book. Easiest answer. I know what I want. Let my girl have some stability. I love that for her. She done been through hell and back. Her mama passing, her daddy passing, her brother passing. Dang. Group homes, nobody adopting her. She done finally found somewhere where she belonged. Soak it in. Live that. She might have some children and send them off to fulfill they, they dreams and, and desires. She got to build some, some kind of stability. She ain't got no family. Yeah. Bro, she a whole town celebrity. She took down Typhon? Give me a break. Live it up. Alex stayed in Haven Springs. Majority. Let's go. The world stats. Let me stay on the world stats. The world stats is half and half. Friend stats think like me, bro. Alex forgave Jed for his actions. Zero percent. <laughs> 
Wait, that's crazy. But the friend stats is 69. Man, the world can kiss our behind. Alex claims she learned something. She learned the meaning of home, zero. Friends, and she learned uh 42%. Okay, world stats. Members of the council stood with Alex, period. Same majority for both. Um, uh, world stats. Alex wanted to belong somewhere in the future. 50. 42. Uh, Alex didn't sit on the bed. Oh, I thought she just got off the bed. I didn't want her to sit back down. Okay. 50, 65. Ryan stood by Alex during the vote. 0% with world. 31. Okay. Alex forgave Ryan for not. So he didn't believe her. Alex wasn't ready to forgive Ryan. Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote. Oh, wow. I feel like I had the best Ryan uh, out outcome possible. Uh, Charlotte sided with Alex during the vote. Zero percent for what, what happened? Charlotte turned her back on Alex for the world stats. What did y'all do? 44. Eleanor offered to get a uh, girl. So there is a point where Eleanor will side with Alex. She probably would have wanted me to be nicer to Jed. I feel like that might have did it. She's more of a heartstring person. I was kind of going straight forward with Jed until the forgiveness part. 100% Pike sided with Alex. It's still majority, 74. Ducky sided with Alex during the vote, 50%. Ducky remained loyal to... I had very good outcomes with the community, bro. Ryan believed Alex during the vote. They 100% of worlds that believe Jed. And even it's still low. Oh my gosh. Worlds that's Ryan and Alex don't get together. Well, that's, that's mine too. Majority on both. Ryan leaves Haven to be with Alex. Ryan and Alex start dating in Haven. So I guess it depends on whether you stay or you go, or if you gave one of them the rose, I'm assuming. Um, Steph stays in Haven to be with Alex, period. The other option was Steph and Alex don't get together and Steph and Alex leave Haven together. Then that's the even split. I am, as per usual, satisfied with my outcome. You know, I played as me. I had a I had a me ending. I'm proud of it. It's one for the books. Life is strange, true colors. I did enjoy that. After episode three, I was kind of feeling a little like, ooh, this game getting long. But that was probably one of the best Life is Strange storylines. I'm gonna be honest. YouTube, that's it. Suggest something else down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys are subscribe and liking the videos. And we'll see you in the next gameplay. Bye, guys. Bye.